Hello. Uh, today we are going to demonstrate Gen AI use case for a Google Global Network Incident Analysis. Now, this is Priya Saxena. I work for Google Cloud and I work for telecom industry customers mostly. Uh, my background comes, I come from a networking background and I've adopted AI and data platform in my recent years. So this particular demo is a combination of networking and data analytics and AI, of course. So we, we want to go, go through a quick glance of what the scope of the use case is. Say, these are all the regions where Google Global Networks operate. So it's like 32, uh, 38 regions, 200 plus countries. So it's quite huge thing. So when there is any failure or any incident happening in the, in the network, the Google engineers have to go through a lot of documentation, a lot of logs, and just analyze what went wrong or what is going wrong and then fix it. Now that is a real crunch time. As an engineer, I know how it feels when it is something goes wrong. So we have developed this assistant for our own internal team so that this particular software can help them analyze the incidents faster, quicker, and basically take off that workload in that crunch scenario where th things are really not going well. So we will go through a recording of the session first, and I'll explain through you by pausing in between wherever there is needed. So this is basically uh, the use case which we are intending. It is mainly automation of complex information mining and summarization. Now behind the scene, it uses uh, LLM models, which a lot of you might be familiar with. That is used for summarization, and when do we use Vertex AI search, which is doing semantic search. So it's a lot of overhead which is taken care by the existing models, the pre-trained foundation models which we have. So our, all we need to provide to this model is basically the post-mortem documents, say for the model to just analyze those documents and come up with the answers saying what has happened in the past and you know this root cause is related to certain thing which has happened in the past. So for that we have provided a, um, you know a few uh, postmortem documents of different outages in different regions to the model and today we are going to demonstrate a uh, outage which has happened in uh, well we have re we have obfuscated the region name not the real region but we are taking an example of a rio region which is gig is the code for that so this is basically the postmortem assistant now the engineer or the SRE who is dealing with the outage or the problem can type in a question saying give me a summary and the generative, generative AI uh, bot will actually generate a summary of that plus also it will link it to the actual document. Now this is quite important because we don't want hallucinations so we have, uh, we can model the, you know, we can program it so that it doesn't give any data outside the data sources which we have provided to this program. So like if you see here all the data is coming from the data sources given and there's no hallucination and it also gives references to validate whether you know the engineer thinks that's a good answer or not so the feedback loop is another important aspect of it now this particular question if you see most of the outages which have which have happened it does a semantic search the uh, it's basically using vertex ai search engine it does a semantic search finds embeddings and then also summarizes it using the llm models now here this one is this is like a like i said it's a helping assistant for an actual engineer to speed up the process of you know uh, solving the problem or at least to know what went wrong instead of going through those files by themselves which takes a lot of time and effort let the engine do that and then they get you an answer and a reference which you can click through it and go through so this saves a lot of time for searching or looking through the information now the second question how many customers were impacted so if you see there were, it clearly case, it says there were like three or two use cases, two customers were impacted. What is the pre priority level, P1s or P0s? And then it takes you through that exact file where you know, this information has been you know, gathered from. So this is like a table if you see. It goes through unstructured as well as table related documents and it can provide answers based on the specific question. Now if you want more details in the question, we can make the prompt saying give me details of the incidents reported by customers. So we can play around with the prompting to get as much level of detail as we need. Now let's move on to the third question saying if somebody wants to know more in detail of what was the root cause of the packet loss. So now we know that the gig region had loss, it had, had problems and then now we want to know the root cause. So this for an engineer is an information which again can help in the future diagnosis. So I would say this will really ease up the work which a network engineer would do to go through a whole lot of chunk of data instead of that get a summary, get some references and you know you can basically solve the problems quicker. 
same way we say you know give me a summary of the outages caused by the route reflectors now that's where the bot again generates goes through all those documents generates a quick nice summary saying you know this these were the outages because of the route reflectors what has happened what went wrong so this is a short illustration of how generative ai can be used to make complex processing easier so for to be to be honest network network processing and especially in outages when there are uh, those crunch times when we don't want to you know slip behind it needs a lot of expertise it needs quick response and that's where generative ai can help you uh, hope that helps thank you